Thank you for joining me. I'm Latoya Hart and I am the Breakup Girl. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. If you are returning, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about breakups, but not in a sense of an intimate relationship, but in family and friend relationships. It is so easy or easier to see when you are in a toxic relationship with a partner but it becomes so much more complex and so much more difficult to see and know and accept the next steps that you need to take when that toxic person in your life is a family member because you have family ties but the reality is this some of the most toxic relationships that you will ever experience are those that you um have established not because you went out and met this person, but this person is a part of your family. And how do you address that without others in your family becoming upset, frustrated, and even angry with you? And the reality is this, when you are in, well, when you have someone in your life that is toxic, be it a close friend or family member, you must first identify that the relationship is no good for you. The best way to identify it is how do you feel when you're with this person? How does this person treat you? Um, how do you treat them? Is the relationship conducive of growth for you? And is the relationship conducive to growth for them as well? Is there mutual give and, give and take from the relationship? Or is there like this awkward tension between you and the other person and you're continuing the relationship just for the sake of your family member so you're continuing to maintain the relationship although it's a toxic poison the the, the truth is toxic people will pull you down be it friends be it family members be it partners they will pull you down they are equivalent to a toxic poison and if you put a plant in the environment that is toxic that is poison that is contaminated it cannot grow and ultimately it will die the only way that you can move forward is to separate and detach yourself from toxic people that doesn't mean that you have to stop loving them if you have a family member that is no good for you you can walk away from that relationship separate yourself from that relationship and continue to love them but love them from a distance and and that is the best way to love this person because the reality is is this you come first your needs come first and if this person isn't willing to meet you where you are then it's time for you to do the best thing for you if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I would love to chat with you more about this, but it's critical that you not only separate yourself from toxic men, but also toxic family and friend relationships. Again, thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video.